Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. Let's go to Genesis chapter 15 once again as we continue our series on Bible characters and looking at the person of Abraham. We're going to read only one verse from Gen uh, Genesis 15, and then I have a bunch of other verses uh, to cross-reference, <coughs> which I printed them out for sake of time, so we don't have to flip back and forth to the Bible, uh, but I will have them uh, typed up in the description so you can, uh, you can look at it yourself and, and uh, look up the references yourself. Uh, but let's start with Genesis chapter 15 and verse number 6. The Bible says, And he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. So you see that the faith of Abraham, Abraham believing in God, in the Lord, okay, and, and, and believing in the word of the Lord, it was counted unto him, to Abraham, for righteousness. Okay, this righteousness came by belief. Let me tell you, salvation in the Old Testament is the same as the New Testament and is the same throughout time. It always, throughout, from, from beginning to the end of our time as humans, as, as, as people, okay, salvation will always be the same. There will never be a time where we can work our way to heaven, where there's something we can do to, to earn our way to heaven, ever. Not in the old, not in the new, and not in the times to come. Salvation will always be through God, through G which we know is, is Jesus Christ. It is through Christ. Okay? And <clears throat> so, so even before the name of Jesus was known in the Old Testament, uh, it was still through the same God, okay? Because he has many names. Jehovah, Jesus Christ, uh, and uh, I am, you know, a wonderful counselor. I mean, so many names of God, right? <clears throat> but it's the same God. And he's the only one, the only path to heaven, to eternal life. Okay? And I'm going to uh, go through, and this, this, I'm going to park it in this, this one verse and this one concept because this is very important. All right? Uh, so let me, let me uh, read some other verses here for you. Uh, first, we're going to go to Romans chapter 4, verses 1 through 3. It says, What shall we say then that Abraham our father, as pertaining to the flesh, hath found? For if Abraham were justified by works, he hath whereof to glory, but not before God. This is very important, okay, because of the next, next uh, verse, uh, set of verses that I'm going to go to here. Not before God. For what saith the scripture? Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Now, remember, the book of Romans largely deals with the doctrine of salvation. Okay, It is, a, it is an epistle written to the, the, uh, the Romans on what it means to be saved. Okay, As So many, I mean, when we give the gospel, we often use what is called the Romans road, right? Because there are so many verses in Romans that deal with salvation specifically, okay? Uh, <clears throat> so uh, in this case here in Romans um, chapter four, it was four, yeah. Romans chapter four, we just read. So we see that Abram, again, referring back to Genesis 15. This is what it's talking about, where Abram believed and was counted in him for righteousness. It is clarified and confirmed in Romans that that was Abraham's salvation when he believed on the Lord. And it was counted unto him for righteousness. That is what saved Abraham's soul. It is what brought righteousness to Abraham. It wasn't, you know, just packing up and heading over, uh, you know, to a different land, leaving his family. It wasn't that act, okay, that's, that, that gave him righteousness. It was his faith, his belief in his heart, his faith that brought righteousness unto Abraham, the individual, before God. Now, whatever works that he does is before man. Man, you know, sees the works of fellow man and they can see, you know, a, a justification for their faith, right? But before God, it is not works. Okay, the justification before God is faith. That is how we are justified. That is how we get righteousness. So I want to go to James chapter 2 here, uh, verses 22 through 24, because some people use these verses as a weapon to try to show that, oh, you see it? It's through works. 
Uh, but that's not true, and I'll, I'll show you why. Starting with verse 22, James chapter 2 says, Seest thou how faith wrought with his works, and by works was faith made perfect? And the scripture was fulfilled, which saith, Abraham believed God, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. Ye see then how that by works a man is justified, and not by faith only. So see right there, those words right there, taken out of context, can easily be used <clears throat> as a weapon for people to say, well, do you see that? Uh, that one little phrase right there, um, you know, by works a man is justified and not by faith only. Oh, see, it's clear. No, no, no. Read the whole context of the passage. Verse 24, ye see then how that works. Uh, by works a man is justified. Okay? Ye, meaning you, the reader. Okay? And then in verse 22, uh, it says, seest thou... Okay, so both plural and singular, but whatever it is, it's the reader that's being addressed here. So as man, we look at the works of our fellow man, and that's how we can tell, well, maybe that guy has faith in God, okay, <clears throat> is by their works. But before God, when it, when it comes to salvation specifically, Romans chapter 4 is very easily. Uh, it says, see here, um, Remember that if Abraham were justified by works, this is back in Romans 4, 2, he hath whereof to glory, but not before God. You see, because before God, it is faith. Only faith. Are we justified? Are we given righteousness? It is faith in God. All right? And then lastly, Galatians 3, 6 through 9, even as Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness, know ye therefore that they which are of faith... The same are the children of Abraham. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith. Again, justifying the heathen through faith. That's salvation. Okay. <clears throat> preached before the, the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. So then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. So again, Galatians here in this passage is talking about uh, uh well, some other things about, about the prophecy of Gentiles being saved and all that, but also about salvation, okay? Whereas James is not talking about salvation. James is talking about our, our conduct in front of other men, in front of our fellow man. But Romans and Galatians, clearly salvation doctrines, salvation books, and several chapters, you know, dedicated to that. So, so absolutely, Genesis chapter 15, verse 6 here, this is how Abraham gets saved. It is not by his works. It is by his faith, his belief in God. And that's what got him righteousness. And I'm out of time. Uh, thank you so much, but I'm not out of coffee. So thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And well, I guess have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday morning. Bye-bye.